<clears throat> All right, so let's talk about the final Daily Dispatch video. Do people have ideas on what we should do? Pam? Um, yeah, I was I was thinking about um, uh, encouraging people to post a reflection um, to their portfolios so they can kind of talk about their key takeaways from um, not just the equity week, but also um, the care week. So care and equity together. Um, and uh, I was thinking whoever kind of puts together the, the dispatch can include in the text session, like a uh, section, like how to um, post a, a reflection on the portfolio, if that kind of sounds. I mean, I like the idea of people now that it's over posting a reflection in their portfolio, but I think for the video, that's like a little boring. I mean, any other ideas? Um, I, I we had a great session uh, yesterday. Uh, students talked with you about empathetic teaching and that really like gave me a couple aha moments. So I could really encourage people to check that recording out. And um, I could talk a little bit about my own takeaways from that about, you know, um, transparent teaching, the reciprocity of empathy. Um, and the students had some really yeah. like heart wrenching stories to tell that I think uh, teachers could learn a lot from. Well, I mean, I have no doubt that they were heart wrenching and that people should watch the video. But honestly, when you're kind of retelling it now, again, it's just a little boring. So I don't know. Cassidy, do you have thoughts as a student on what we should do? Um, well, I was in one of the readings and Allison was kind of talking about um, safe space. And then she came up or she proposed the term brave space. Um, kind of talking about like how she can't um, guarantee like any space that she creates is going to be safe, but she can create a space where students can come in, kind of talk about like things that are making them uncomfortable and really do some reflection as to why they might feel that way. I mean, safe space versus brave space, brilliant. But as an idea for the video, Eh, I would say, you know, I don't know, like, these are really kind of underwhelming. Martha, do you have anything better? Well, I mean, the, the one thing I've been thinking a lot about as we're finishing up this module um, is just sort of like where we go from here. We've talked a lot about design forward as sort of the future of our faculty development and wanting to keep um, iterating on these modules, taking into account what we've learned. Um, from each um, iteration. And I feel like for me, one of the things that's kept coming back is, you know, it's called care and equity, which, you know, obviously kind of makes sense together, but we've really, I think, been doing a lot of work the last um, couple of weeks thinking about how they're related, mm -hmm. like how care and equity are kind of in a relation, reciprocal relationship and, and what it means, what that, what that means. So I've been thinking, and I know it's a little bit out there, but I think it could be really distinctive is to rethink maybe the name of the module by blending together. And we could throw this out there to the participants in the video, asking for their input, blending together care and equity into something like care, care, care equity, care equity, as, as like a new, like a new, it would be really distinctive. It would be different. Nobody else, I mean, you know, it would be really like hash heck hash. Witty. Will be That's heck. That's your <laughs> idea. Heck witty? My thought, that is ridiculous. That is literally, okay, I'm sorry, but that is literally the stupidest thing. Heck witty, that's what I, okay. that's what I pay you for. Okay. We are in austerity here and I am paying you money and you give me Robin, Robin, I think we could okay. We could go back to the drawing. Anna, when when they say that you work for me, I think do I you know what go. that means? You, you're not going anywhere. We need a student voice in this oh, video. You guys, this I is earlier today. You may have inadvertently received a video from the Open Learning and Teaching Collaborative that didn't show our best side. I want to deeply apologize for that. Clearly, you know that here in the CoLab, our two main values are care and equity. Thank you so much for joining us this week. Remember, you've entered a community and this is not the end, it's just the beginning. And we hope to stay in touch with you and continue this work. Coffee, coffee. Is there cream in this? You know I'm lactose intolerant.